In this video, I'm going to explain what the Ustream producer is and how to effectively use it in a classroom or in another professional environment. So to start, let me show you Ustream website. This is Ustream. Like any website, if you would like to become a part of this, you would create a profile. I've already created a profile, as you can see. You can do the same by filling out the basic information on the site. So, what is Ustream? Ustream is a simple, powerful video streaming desktop application. So, this website, Ustream, is going to be the place where people can view what you are streaming live from your desktop. So, let me now show you what Ustream producer is. First thing you're going to have to do, log in. And you will then be able to produce photos or videos live from your desktop. So here's the Ustream producer. I'm sure you are totally interested as to how to use it. The very first thing you want to do is click on this camera. The camera will then bring a live feed of your face into this box. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually show you another thing you can do. If you click on this square icon, you can launch your desktop presenter. This is going to allow you to share data directly from your desktop. Most time, we don't actually want to sit and stare into a camera and talk at people. We want to show them what's going on on our desktop and talk about it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So once you've launched your desktop presenter, you're going to come back to the square and add, I'm going to add Ashley Docterman's MacBook. You would add your MacBook or your computer. Yay, so here it is. Here's my desktop. Problem though, I have no audio, so I need to make sure I add audio. Come over here to your little speaker icon and select built-in input. Now as you can see right here on the right hand side, I have volume. I can now present live on Ustream Producer and my colleagues or friends or students can view it here on my Ustream account. When I do present this, it'll say now broadcasting and my image or my desktop image will be portrayed here along with the sound that accompanies it. And last but not least, if you decide you would like to broadcast, which is the entire purpose of this program, you would click start broadcasting. In addition to broadcasting, you can also record your feed, which I always recommend. So after you click start broadcasting, click start recording and then when you are completed with your presentation or your session you will have a recording of your entire session that you can save and then email to anyone who missed the class, any colleagues who missed the meeting, so on and so on. So anyways, I definitely recommend to using Ustream and Ustream Producer as a teacher or just as a professional.